Okay, today I want to go over the um, glass bead slurry mix ratio and I want to talk about um, filtered versus freshwater systems and the pros and cons of those while you're building one of these. Um, I've been using the cabinet for quite a while now and I've done a tremendous amount of items through it and it's, the cabinet's working wonderfully but I have seen a few things that I figured I should uh, let you know about as you build one. Um, so first thing, the, the ratio of the mix. First I put about 12 pounds of glass bead into it and then filled, you know, I fill the water up to, if you see where this, this drain goes for the water right here, I basically put the water level so that it's just, just reaching that valve then I filled the filter box completely so that the system was at the point where any water that would go back up into the tub would then be over the edge of the uh, the drain valve for the surface water and then it would just circulate back down in through the pipe and then go through the filter box and make its way over um, to be pumped up through the the main filter on the back of the unit that you see in the video. So I started, like I said, with about maybe 12 pounds. I mean, it could have been 13, 14, but right around there. Um, what I noticed was as I used the unit, um, all of a sudden I'd say after, I don't know, six, seven, maybe 10 pieces that I ran through, I noticed that the, uh, the cleaning of the pieces was taking much longer and it really wasn't biting and cleaning like it was in the beginning. Um, so I started looking and then I realized that the slurry mix was no longer really a slurry mix. It was 99% water and there was barely any glass bead. So I checked the system and sure enough I found the majority of the glass bead was in the first compartment of the filter box. And the reason that is, is, is because that glass bead, since I'm using the, the fine mesh, that glass bead is so fine that when it mixes with the water, it's like when you make chocolate milk. I had mentioned that in the video. So you've got a lot of suspended particles. So you're actually losing a certain amount of glass bead as it trickles down into the filter box, even though you're only skimming the surface. So, you know, as you, as you do more and more parts and more and more time goes by, your glass bead will start accumulating in the filter box. Now, if, so what I started doing was when I initially clean the dirt out of the filter box, get everything up and running, get every, you know, get all the glass bead back up into the upper cabinet and starting off fresh, what I usually do is once I've filled the filter box and I have all the water in the unit, I actually turn the valve off and I've got enough water in the filter box that I can probably do two, three um, good sized pieces and still have um, the availability to rinse them from the existing water in the filter box. And then I usually the next day, if I come out to the shop, then I'll turn the filter on because a lot of the particles have had a chance to, to shrink down. So then I'll turn it on and let it do all its filtering. Now, if I'm doing a lot of pieces, I just leave the valve open and it just is a complete circulating system the whole time. But your glass bead will eventually end up in the filter box. It's just the way it is. Now, if you were to go with, if you didn't use a rinse system at all, you wanted to do just a completely closed system, you wouldn't have that problem, but you also wouldn't have the ability to recirculate your water and rinse it and take the dirt and oils out of it. So it's kind of like a trade-off. I still feel the filter box is the best way to go versus a completely closed system or a fresh water system. And so this filter recirculating system, although yeah, you will have to get your glass bead back out of there after an amount of time, depending upon you know how often you're using it, how many pieces you're doing, but it, it will end up in there. Um, now let's talk if you did closed loop. Closed loop would basically be this exact same system with no filter box and no drain valve and no fresh water rinse. 
So you'd basically put your water and your slurry mix in there. Um, and you just go to town. And the only water you're going to lose is when it evaporates. Now, you're still going to have to empty your system and get everything out to clean out dirt, sludge, things like that. Um, and I can only imagine by the amount of dirt that the filter box is collecting that the inside of my cabinet would really be dirty without that setup. So your closed loop system, while you won't lose any of your media um, and you might just have to add some water due to evaporation and, and you know when you take a piece out and it's dripping with water and you go to rinse it, you're going to lose water slowly but you're not going to lose any glass bead. Now the third type, so you've got your filter system, your closed system, and then you have a fresh water system, which I, I don't think I would ever do one of those. And there's a couple of reasons why. One, even though your rinse spray is much easier because you don't need the filter system, you're going to need to be draining off the water you're spraying in there from a fresh water system. So if you're using a fresh water rinse and you're putting water into the cabinet, you're going to have to drain it off. And when you drain it off, you're going to be losing glass bead or, or whatever you're using for your media because a certain amount will leave with the water. So by using a freshwater system with a drain on it, um, I'd say that you're going to lose a, a, a good amount of bead pretty quickly um, unless you have some type of filtering system within the cabinet. But the glass bead is so fine that I can't really see how you'd have a, a filtering system that would actually work that could be inside the cabinet. So, I mean, those are your three types. Now, back to the, to the slurry mix. Um, like I said, I started off with probably 12 to 15 pounds and later upped it to maybe 25 or 30. And, and it worked just as well with 25 or 30 as it did with 12 or 13. But the reason I went up is because since the runoff does make you lose a certain amount of glass bead, it just meant that I could run much longer without having to clean out the filter box and re-get my, my glass bead and put it back into the upper cabinet. Um, so I feel that 25 to 30 pounds is probably a good amount. You could probably even go higher. I mean, I, I have plenty of room and, and I haven't had any problems with the slurry and the agitation the way i did it everything works great i will give you one little tip when you do your drain if you're following kind of my plans on here and you go to do your drain i would move this drain over to the left more because oh, i don't know if you can see let me turn a light on because inside of the um unit where the pipe comes up the angle at which it goes down to the pump, it, it's right against where I drilled through for that, for that ball valve. So I would move that maybe like three inches over to the left or two and a half inches over to the left instead of coming down the middle. Um, I think that actually would be better. That way you have room to uh, uh, deal with that. So that's the only... Um, that's the only thing that I think I would change as far as the filtering on draining. Um, so again, you know, it, it's it's more or less trial and error on your mix, but I think uh, uh, 20, 25 pounds is probably a good place to, to be if you're going to use the filter box setup. Um, you know, I also, on the filter box, I ended up putting a, a little piece of wood to rise up that, raise up that side because when I do have the valve completely closed and I use all the water from the filter box for rinsing and then I turn it on, it was coming down at such a fast rate that it wasn't doing the, the overlap of the sections. It was, it was just splashing all over and it was just coming out too fast. By, by raising that back up just a hair, now it can come down full force out of the tube and the box works the way it should. So that's it. I hope that this was uh, informative. And yeah, I'm going to get to that list. I've just been so busy. And I've actually been doing some vapor blasting for people. Um, I put a little timer on the machine. And I've been doing um, vapor blasting from... They had seen some parts that I was selling and they inquired about it. So I've actually been making some money with this cabinet. Um, 
So please subscribe. I hope this helped you out. If there's anything else that you want me to do a video on, just let me know. And uh, all right, take it easy. Bye.